Well, a man convicted of murdering his friend and roommate learned his fate today. Jesse Bruce will spend the next 16 years behind bars. But as KSL investigator Daniela Rivera reports, he's still claiming he acted in self-defense. A jury didn't believe Jesse Bruce's story about what happened on March 21st, 2019, the night he stabbed Corey Haney to death. In his own words, Bruce calls it a horrendous tragedy. Uh, two men's choices and actions affected dozens and dozens of people negative. Those two men, roommates. Haney's family says he took Bruce in when Bruce needed a place to stay. Then Bruce took Haney's life. Corey did what he did. And I did what I had to do. But that's not how members of the jury saw it, and the judge agreed with them. I don't see any remorse here, and I certainly don't see any self-defense. He didn't just stab him. He butchered him. Haney's mom, Kaylin Stafford, says her son was stabbed over and over. The medical examiner documenting more than 60 wounds. It was a brutal, rage-inflicted murder. For Haney's parents, today's sentencing feels like another blow. I do not feel the closure that I was hoping for for today. But I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad that Corey's gone, that he'll never be here. Stafford says outside of the jury's guilty verdict, she's felt let down by Utah's justice system at almost every step, including a several month delay in the case after Bruce attempted to use a new self-defense law to get his charges dismissed without going to trial. The KSL investigators first reported on unintended consequences of the 2021 law for victims, but that law doesn't apply to domestic violence cases. And prosecutors successfully argued the nature of Bruce and Haney's relationship as roommates disqualified this case from the new legal process Bruce had hoped to use. Still, it prolonged the process for us, and it was very harmful to our family. Judge Richard McKelvey sentenced Bruce to serve 16 years to life in prison, a sentence staff Stafford says doesn't compare to her family's painful reality. That's it for us. We have a life sentence. Bruce is also facing charges for allegedly threatening members of Haney's family while he was out on bail. He's due back in court next month. For KSL 5 News, I'm Daniela Rivera.